After the election, when President Erdogan saw his plan to change the constitution in his favour fail, when he saw his AKP party lose power and the pro-Kurdish HDP gain seats, the democratic forces winning, Erdogan couldn't take it. That is why he started the war. They started to arrest, attack and defame HDP politicians. They attacked our fighters. They put pressure on Kurds in Syria and they impose war on us. You say Turkey is looking for excuses for war. Turkey say you are attacking them. Why don't you ask your fighters to stop the war? The Turkish claim they are fighting Islamic State, IS. In fact, they are fighting the PKK. They're doing it to limit the PKK fight against IS. Turkey is protecting IS. Erdogan is behind IS massacres. His aim is to stop the Kurdish advance against them, thus advancing his aim of Turkishness in Turkey. What must Turkey do so you will restart the ceasefire and go back to the negotiation table? They have tried to solve the Kurdish problem with war. It failed. The only choice is negotiation. If Turkey accepts a unilateral ceasefire, stops its military operations, then we will stop fighting as well. But Turkey needs to accept an independent monitor to oversee the ceasefire. If either side violate the agreement, the independent monitor could let the world know who broke the ceasefire. Do you agree to international community mediation to bring both sides to the negotiation table? Look, we are ready to accept anyone's help, but the international powers need to tell Turkey they can't solve the problem with war. They've been fighting for 40 years. They used every weapon. They even got help from the international powers, but they didn't get a result. Instead, the PKK got stronger. If the international powers tell Turkey this, they will have no choice other than to stop the war. How effective have Turkish airstrikes been against your forces? Have they affected your fight against IS? For years, this is their propaganda. They claim they have killed and destroyed the PKK, that the PKK is finished. Not only is the PKK not finished, we are stronger and bigger. We are now in a position that can affect policies in the Middle East and the world. The Kurdish regional government in Iraq say the PKK attacked the oil pipeline that carries their oil to Jehan port in Turkey. The oil is vital to Kurdish livelihoods in the KRG. Why did you do that? That operation wasn't done with the knowledge of the leadership. Our local fighters did it. We released a statement and expressed our regret. We are not against the interests of Iraqi Kurdistan. The U.S. supports Turkey's recent operation against you and call you a terrorist organization. What do you think about this? Now, the entire world knows that if Kurds in Syria, the YPG and the YPJ are advancing against IS, they are organized because of the support of the PKK. IS is the enemy of humanity, of women, of children and of values. They are the enemy of culture and communities. So anyone who fights IS, we will support them. We see the US support of the YPG as a good thing.